Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the December 2019, because we have to say 2019 now, because it's 2020. Fright Crate. Uh, always excited to get Fright Crate. As you know, I've done other boxes in the past, and I quit all of those horror boxes because I just don't need them anymore, but Fright Crate keeps me interested because it's so good. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the quote on it. Is it right to be obsessed with looking at terrible things, Dario Argento? I feel like that's a question that is asked many times, not by people who are into horror, but by people who look at people who are into horror and make judgment calls and say, should you really be into that? That's kind of gross. Let me see if I can fix this lighting a little. Yeah, it'll get fixed on some. Anyway, sorry about that. I'll fix it a little bit when I'm editing it. So um, I do recall one property from this. I think uh, I'm bad at remembering what the franchises are for it, but I do believe I recall them saying before they made the box available to purchase that this is going to have the best autograph they've ever had to date. So I did make a guess on that in my last one. I guessed, I think it might be Keith David from The Thing, which would actually be really, really awesome. So we'll see, though. I could be totally wrong. We do know that it's going to have a t-shirt, and we do know, oops, sorry, we do know that it's going to have something from Serial Resin Co., as it always does, and a pin, and those things are going to be awesome, because they always are. Some packing paper, don't need that. T-shirt, and it's black, and this is the thing. This is the thing, which is funny, because um, you'll see, it's a shirt from the thing. Uh, they're always black shirts. Is that a thing? Is that just, you know, what happens because people are into black when they're into horror? I mean... Coincidentally, that is my favorite color, so, you know, I'm good. Ooh. Yep. This is a good shirt. Look at this. Nice The Thing shirt. I don't have any shirts for The Thing, and that's a nice one. That's really good. Wow. Got, like, a few different stages of The Thing itself. And then Kurt Russell. That's pretty good. I like it. As usual, Fright Crate doing it well. All right, let's go with the pin next. Oh, okay. So this is a movie. Okay, I remember this being on the list, and I was like, I haven't seen it. It's one I keep meaning to see. If you don't know, if you haven't watched enough of my videos, um, you, I'm going to tell you now, there are a lot of horror movies that I have not yet seen. I got started kind of later in life watching a lot of horror films, so I'm playing catch-up right now. And this pin is for one of those I'm, I'm going to need to play catch-up on. And it is Dolls. And it is... I mean, I've seen this particular picture on... Um, presented as a cover for Dolls. So, I mean, it looks creepy. It looks super creepy. Someone tell me... Tell me in the comments, what is Dolls about? I mean, I know it's about, like, creepy dolls, but, like, is there more of a story to it, or is it basically Puppet Master, in a sense? Just just let me know. I mean, I am going to watch it, but probably not anytime super soon. It is on my list. I actually have a list for that stuff, so. Okay, got... Uh, I don't want this. Cards. I hate trading cards. I used to collect trading cards when I was young. I got, I had like some hockey cards, some football cards, lots of baseball cards. I used to play Magic the Gathering, so I had those cards. I have so many cards from a long time ago. Um, I don't need X-Files trading cards. Uh, I just hate trading cards. I just really, really do. But I know these things are super cheap now because there was a, a stint of time where uh, cards were being made for just about everything, and then they didn't sell, so they have stockpiles of these in places, so mystery boxes can go out and just buy them in bulk. Um, but, you know, maybe these were more recent? Let me check. There might be something on there that says so. Um, no, I don't really see any date on these, but it's Series 1 of the X-Files cards, so I'll show you. There we go. Got that one. It's from the Jersey Devil episode, which it actually is cool on the back because it tells you when what the episode is and when it aired, which is pretty cool. So that's from the Jersey Devil one. I won't show you all these. This is from the Shadows episode. This is from Ghost in the Machine episode. That looks cool. That's a little Geiger, H.R. Giger-esque. This one's from Ice, the episode called Ice. That looks nice. This from Space. 
Yep, looks like someone's going to space. And then this is from Fallen Angel. Okay. I don't need these, though. I hate I hate trading cards. I hate them. It's not my thing. Okay, so I want to do the resin piece last. So I'm going for the um, autograph next. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. We are proud to present the autograph of Teresa Tilly, who played one of the main deadites in the original Evil Dead. Oh, was she, uh, she was Shelly? Was Shelly the girlfriend? I don't remember. Well, I guess it'll, it might show me. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool, actually. Evil Dead, nice. Ooh, God, that, that art print looks really nice. This is by Max Cave. Max Cave does amazing artwork. He was doing, I don't know if he did this t-shirt, but he was doing the t-shirts for a while. I think the one last month he did not do, but ugh, his designs are unbelievable, unbelievable. So this is, this is awesome. That is really cool. Uh, I just recently got Bruce Campbell's autograph on a, um, Ash, or not Ash vs. Evil Dead, Army of Dark, no, I think it was from Evil Dead 2, actually, that I got him to sign. So putting this next to that autograph would be pretty nice. And it looks like, what is this? Is this, oh, they just put like another piece of paper in there to keep the, keep the autograph from getting bent, which is a good idea. And then now for the last portion, the resin piece. Do, do, do. I'm excited to find out what this is. What is... Oh, is this from... Wait, I don't know. Oh, it's this must be from Creepshow. Yeah. That is... That is interesting. I like the idea of the, the blue and um, red. I'm... Okay, this is one of those moments where people are going to be like, what is wrong with you? I haven't seen the original Creepshow. I haven't seen Creepshow 2 either. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but you can see, I know this is from Creepshow. There's the box that the, the thing was in. And I think it's probably red and blue because of the colors that were used during that scene. I've seen portions of that before. Um, I love, yeah, I just love the dual color on this. First of all, it looks good. And then the dual color on it is just fun. I like that. It's not, honestly, it's not my favorite of the Serial Resin Co. pieces. Uh, it's probably closer to the bottom of, on the list for me, but it's still good. I like it. And then the card, the spoiler card. Let's let's read over this. The Evil Dead autograph. We are proud to, pre to be presenting the autograph of Teresa Tilly, one of the main deadites, Shelly, in an exclusive print for Max Cave. Amazing. Loved that item. Probably the best item in there. Uh, fluffy bust. The crate beast comes alive in this four inch bust from Serial Resin Co. Uh, the dual tone colors inspired by the creative lighting in the movie. I was right. The, uh, and everything in here is exclusive except the trading cards. Uh, the assimilation shirt from the thing prevent getting taken over by an alien menace by wearing this exclusive tee from artist Max Cave. Yes. Okay, cool. Max Cave did that. That's why it looks so good. Uh, exclusive pin, creepy doll pin, two inch soft enamel pin, double clutch inspired from the movie dolls. And then the trading cards, two variants, the crow city of angels or X files. Okay. Um, the crow city of angels. Like I love the crow. The crow city of angels is trash though. That is not a good movie. Um, you like the original crow. And then after that, it was all garbage. But if, if you're a fan of the crow, if you haven't read the James O. Barr graphic novel or comics, was it just a graphic novel? I don't know if it was just a graphic novel or if it was um, comics, like individual um, comics put out there. But if you haven't read James O'Barr's original stuff, you should definitely read that because it's very good. I mean, it's even better than the movie, but they did a really good job with the movie, to be honest. So anyway, that's the box for December. Fright Crate. Really enjoyed it. As usual, I expected that I would. The only thing I wasn't really a fan of is the cards because I hate that type of stuff. Everything else... Looking good, especially that t-shirt and that art, signed art print. Amazing. Love those two things. I mean, honestly, the autographed signed art print, and, or the autographed art print and the t-shirt, that's all I need. Like, I, I love the resin stuff too, the resin um, pieces too. But honestly, if it was just those two items, I would still buy it at the same price because they're awesome. So anyway, um, some people have asked on the on these videos too, do I do the $20 or the $30 version? I do the $30 version, which has more items in it. 
because I want to get as much as I can from it to show everyone what's in there. So just know that I'm doing the higher option, not the lower option, but yeah. So thanks everyone for checking this out. Please do me a favor. If you like any of the videos I do this or any other ones, hit that subscribe. That's your way to repay me because you're not paying me any money. I'm doing this for free for you. At least you could do is just hit that subscribe real quick. You can do a thumbs up, but the subscribe means a lot more. So if you've already subscribed, thumbs up me. That'd be nice. Put some comments down there. Did you get Fright Crate? What were your thoughts on these items? And if you didn't get Fright Crate, what were your thoughts on these items? Or other horror stuff. Do we want to talk about any of these films that these had to do with? Let's talk. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.